Aiden Jefferson, and this week's Around T-Town takes me to Nature's Nursery out in White House. I'm joined by Allison Schroeder with Nature's Nursery. So kind of give me an idea of what you guys do. Yeah, um, we are a wildlife rescue and rehabilitation center. We have been doing this for 32 years in the White House area. Um, we started as a very small organization out of someone's home, and we are now taking in almost 4,000 animals per year. So you guys are very busy. We are very busy, and this time of year, it's all ramping up. It's baby season. So um, we are starting to take in baby squirrels, soon will come the bunnies, the opossums, the birds, and it will be literally raining babies around here between now and October. And there are kind of two sides to the operation you have here, the rehabilitation as well as the education. Correct. So the education part is that we have about 30 education ambassadors, and those are animals that were um, unable to be released for whatever reason they weren't going to be successful in the wild. So we have a special permit to be able to keep them, and we take them out to schools, we take them to scout groups, we take them to events, and we use them to teach people in person about wildlife, about conservation, about the role that they play in the environment. What have you seen as far as reaction when people come in and they see the animals? What has been their initial reaction? Uh, you know, a lot of people that, uh, they, they just really don't realize that these animals all live right here in our area. In fact, you said that when we were walking around. Like, they didn't realize that there's, there's wild fox in this area, that there's owls, that there's flying squirrels, that these things all exist right here up in our trees, they're around us. And we uh, take those opportunities to teach people what to look for and how to find them in nature. And what's cool about this operation is that there's no government funding. It's all relying upon the community as well as the 80 volunteers that you guys have. Yes, we are completely funded by donations. We have wonderful supporters that make donations to us, whether it be through just um, a, you know, a one-time donation or a memorial donation or um, a monthly membership type donation. And then we've got 80 volunteers that come in and, and they give, uh, sometimes it's one day a week, sometimes it's several days a week. And they give their time, which is the biggest gift they can give, to be able to help us pull all this off. And how can people find you guys online as well as your physical location if they want to be a part of your efforts? Yeah, if they go to uh, naturesnursery.org, that's our website. There's lots of links and information on there. We've also got a wonderful Facebook page that we update several times a day with lots of fun pictures and information. We're not currently open to the public, um, but we are out here in White House. If you find an animal in need, please reach out to us. We'll walk you through the steps to be able to get that animal to us so we can take care of it. So definitely reach out to Nature's Nursery. Definitely a great organization, great work that's happening here. But this week's Around T-Town, I'm Jaden Jefferson.